The word of God. Speak life into dead situation. My situation was dead until the word of God speak life into my situation. And tonight I want to take this time and this opportunity to tell you, my viewers, that the word is life. The word is light. The word deliver and the word set free. The word also provide and the word also heal. The word also cut and it clear. It is like a two-edged sword. Now, when I was in sin, living and doing my own worldly pleasure, if somebody did tell me that the word of life, the word heal and deliver, and the word set free, I would say, no, you can't. But I get to realize and understand why because I was in darkness and Jesus shine his light in me so now I can see clearly the difference between night and day between light and darkness because the word of God is light it is a light unto my pathway my eyes are open by the word of God. And um, in John 14 and verse 1 to 3, it says, Let not your heart be troubled. He believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. Now, I believe the word of God. I have no doubt in the word of God because Jesus is my provider, is my way maker, is my deliverer, and is also my problem solver. Jesus of shine is light in my pathway for me to see clearly and know the difference between wrongs and right. I accept the light. I step out of darkness and step into the light of Jesus. And as card into as card into Psalms, the Psalms one and verse from verse one. Psalms one and it said Bless Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor seated in the way of sinner, nor seated in the seat of the scornful, but his delight is in the Lord, in the, in the law of the Lord. And in his law does he meditate day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that beareth fruit. His leaf shall bring it fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither and whatsoever he does shall prosper you know i am reading these things because i am saying there's time when i was struggling very hard very very struggle and god have put people in my way to help me 
Why? Because I believe in God and I trust God. Now, the next thing, when I get help, when I get help, I use the help that I get wisely. Let me take this moment, my viewers. I, 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 God, thank you, Jesus. Let me take this moment to say that. I share this as a testimony. I was a self-employed gardener. And I used to work in the school as caretaker. And I was getting abused in the school. And I decided to start up my own business. So I stay in the job where I was. And I start up a little gardening business. And I write up some little card and hand out. And I was only working weekends, like Saturdays and Sunday, because I wasn't going to church at the time. So I was just working weekends. And I remember, I remember, um, I decided to pack up the job that I was in because I couldn't take the abuse anymore. And I step out and start to work. And because I was only doing weekends, I thought the business would have kick off from a full-time base. But trust me, I find myself start to hit rock, rock bottom. Start to hit rock bottom. And I decided, you know what, I'm going to start to look for a job. And I apply for a couple of jobs. And none of them reply back to me. So what I have to do, I have to turn to the cleaning job. So I was doing two jobs in the morning in two different schools doing cleaning. Not in the morning. I do one cleaning in the morning and one cleaning in the evening. And at that stage, for me to run my own business and doing two cleaning jobs, I have to wake up very early in the morning, like 4 o'clock in the morning, to get to one school to do two hour, three hour cleaning job. Then I have to go and do my own gardening work during the day. And then in the evening, I have to finish work to go to my had a sc evening school job after school finish and I have a child at home going to school at the same time just two hours leave and things was going really really hard for me and I went to a friend one day and I said to the friend can I ask you a favor and the friend said what is it I said I need some money to borrow now let me tell you about faith faith move mountain Faith move mountain. I never know this lady would have lent me the money. I said to the lady, she said, how much money you want? And I said, about 1500 1500 Yeah, like that. Now, let me say something to you, my viewers and my subscriber. When God drops something into your spirit, don't doubt it. If you believe in God and you trust in God, step out by faith. Because God not going to tell you if you do something, if God knows it's not going to happen. If you is a child of God and you believe God and God tells you to do something and you believe that God tells you to do it, go and do it. Because God is the way maker. He is the provider. So the lady said, when I will get it back. And at that stage, I give her a time roughly. And you know what? Before that time come, I care about the money. And she said, you sure? I said, yes. He said, you don't have to rush, you know? I said, yes, I am sure. Because what? God have opened a door earlier than the time that I give her to pay back this money. And I pay back this money. One another time, I found myself in another situation and I went to a different person and I borrowed a thousand. Again, I said a month. In about two weeks, I pay back that again. So business for me kind of take that and pick up from there. And let me tell you something, my viewers. My business managed to take off. That I run my business for 14 years. I end up have three vans on the road and have people working with me. But sickness caused me to close my business down. And if you're living in Luton and you know me, when I was running my business, you can testify that I'm at line. I used to have three van sign written on the road with E and D garden clearance on it. It is me. 
But God been good to me. Because one thing I can tell you. When I was working, I wasn't squander. I don't go to party. I don't smoke. I don't drink. Yes, I used to buy a little luxury at the time. But you know something? God been good to me. Because God gave me wisdom. And God gave me knowledge. And God gave me understanding how to save. I am a living testimony. And I am here to tell you, my viewers, to tell you, my subscriber, never give up in life. Never. Don't care how hard things hit you. Never give up in life. Let me tell you something. When I was growing up as a young boy in Jamaica, I prayed to God. And this is the God Almighty truth. I prayed to God as a young boy growing up in Jamaica. I wasn't even 20 years old when I, when I prayed this prayer. I wasn't even a Christian. I did baptize, but I did leave church. And I prayed this prayer. And I said, God, I don't want to be rich. I want to be comfortable. And you know what my comfortable is? I said, God, I would love to have a three-bedroom house. A nice car. And every day I wake up, I have at least $100 in my pocket. And I don't owe nobody anything. As God live it, I pray that prayer. As a young boy. Because I never see riches. I say, God, if riches come my way, thank you. But I have never seen riches. I have never strived for riches. I strive for comfort. That is my desire, is to be comfortable. I would like a three-bedroom house, a nice car to drive, and every day I wake up, I have a $100 in my pocket. And I wasn't talking about England money or American money. I was talking about Jamaican money. I never even knew I was going to travel. But God make a way for me that I get to travel. And today I can tell you that I am comfortable in a three-bedroom house. I have a nice car. And I have more than £100 in my pocket. I don't want nobody nothing. And I am happy. And I am proud to tell you, if you believe in God, if you trust in God, allow God to have his way in you, I will tell you tonight that you will never find want in anything because the word of God is life. The word of God is like a two-edged sword. It cut and it cleared the way for you. So, if you are not yet accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I will dare you, I will dare you to put your trust in God. I will dare you to put your trust in God. Um, the ungodly are not so, but are like the trough which the wind drive it away therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment nor seated in the seat scornful of scornful righteous for the lord know the way of the righteous but the way of the ungodly shall perish. My viewers, don't be like the ungodly. Don't be like the ungodly. I don't want you to perish. I want the blessing of God to reach you. Seek God. Find God. And allow him to come into your heart. To come into your soul. To come into your mind. And come into your body. Yes, allow God to come into your heart. Allow God to come into your heart. Allow Him to minister to your heart. In the name of Jesus, allow Him. Psalms 91 and verse 1 and 2. It said, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide 
under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my fortress and my fortress. My God in Him will I trust. Um, Proverbs 3, 5, 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto your own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your part. In all your ways, my brother and my sister, in all your ways, trust in the Lord. Acknowledge him as your Lord and Savior. He will direct your part. He will show you. He will shine his light in you. He will direct you. You will not stop from slumber. You will not fall. You will not buck up because Jesus is there guiding you and protecting you. I promise you, if you're in a situation where you are struggling financially, you're going through sickness, hard shape, let me tell you something. The devil have a plan. And the devil plan is to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But Jesus come to give life and to give life abundant. Trust in God. Believe in God. Allow God to have his way in you. If you can sit down and say, Jesus, here I am. I am a sinner. I surrender my life to you. I want to walk with you. Shine your light in me. Give me the ability to walk right, live right, speak right, and do right. Get into the word of God. Read the word of God and live. Live. Live as cardinal to the word of God. Whatever you read, live it. Speak it. Believe it. And see how God moves into your life. God bless you. God keep you. God guide you. And God protect you. And this moment, I am going to pray. And if you bow your head with me, and you pray with me, and the Spirit of God speak to you, don't harden your heart. Accept Jesus. Walk with him. Talk with him. Believe his word. Heavenly Father, tonight I bow before your presence. I have read your word and I have surrendered to you. And I pray tonight, God, that every word that I read, not one will go in vain. But God, I pray every listening hears that hear will receive a blessing from you, Lord. Lord, open the eyes of your children. Open the eyes of your children, God, that they will see clearly where you're taking them. Lord, I pray they will not walk in darkness, but walk in the light of the world. Shine your light so bright that they will see and understand and know that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. Even if I take over fully control, give wisdom, give knowledge, and give understanding to your children. Even if I take over fully control, I pray right now that whoever listening right now, God, their heart will be melt like ice. Their mind will be released from the tension. God, those are going through sickness right now in the name of Jesus. I pray, God, that the Spirit of God will touch because Jesus, the word of God, is Yes, Lord. The word of God is medicine. The word of God is healing. The word of God is doctor. The word of God is nurse. 
the word of God is a surgeon. The word of God cut and clear. It is like a two-edged sword. It make a way when there is no way. Tonight, I pray, God, that someone, somewhere, who is struggling financially, God, you will open a financial door. Open a financial door. God, someone, somewhere tonight, who is going through sickness, with back pain, God, I pray right now, in the name of Jesus, yes, God, yes, God, yes, God, Someone somewhere is going through back pain right now. Put your hand on your back in the name of Jesus. Say, God, I am suffering with this back pain. Heal me now. Yes, God, ready to heal you. God, ready to deliver you. God, ready to set you free. Open your heart. Hope in your soul, hope in your mind, and receive your ill in this moment. Kabai Shako Todobo. Yes. Type in the comment section. Let the world know that God has just healed you in the name of Jesus. You know yourself. You know how much you've been suffering with your back pain. But Jesus said, Tonight, you will suffer no more. Jesus said, Tonight, you will suffer no more. In the name of Jesus, receive your healing. Kabai Shakotodobo Shanda. Yes, God. Somebody with a knee problem. Somebody with a knee problem. Jesus is saying, You've been crying out too long. You've been crying out too long. I want to heal you. Basha Kotodobo Shanda. Jesus, place your hands on your knee and look to heaven. I am ready to deliver you. I am ready to set you free. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, have your way. In the name of Jesus. Tonight, I pray for someone who homeless. You are on the street. God wants to take you off. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. God wants to take you off. God wants to provide for you. In the name of Jesus. Father God, take over fully control. In the name of Jesus. God, there is nothing I can do without you, Lord. And there is nothing I want to do without you. But as the Holy Spirit lead me, God, that will I do. I speak by authority. I speak by your will. And I speak by your way. And I say, God have mercy. Kabaisha koto robo shanda. Kaya mama kando robo shika babai sando. Kika mama mando koshinde de busi kababa sanda. Jesus have mercy tonight, Lord. Somebody is crying out for help, Lord. Somebody is crying out for help. Jesus, somebody is crying out for help. And I am asking you, God, because you said, if I ask anything in your name and believe by faith, that shall you do. So, God, I am asking you tonight, stretch forth your mighty hand, God. God, you are all known and all seen, God. So, God, I am praying tonight that you will have mercy on your children who is crying for help. God, have your way. Search my life. Search my life. Search my body. Search my situation, God. Bless me as God to the faithfulness of my heart. And God, as you bless me, let me be a blessing unto someone. Jesus, open my eyes. Open my spiritual eyes, God. Open my spiritual ears. God, use my mouth as a microphone that God whatever you told me and whatever you show me I will able to speak by your authority God Eventually, Father take over fully control tonight in the name of Jesus take over fully control Father God tonight I respond 
to your word. I call upon you. I humble myself. I speak what you put into me to speak. I pray the prayer of faith that you give unto me. And I believe in healing. I believe in deliverance. And I believe in breakthrough. God, I have faith in you. Because you said if I have faith as a grain of mustard seed, I can move mountain. So tonight, I sit before you present. I call upon you by faith and believe Jesus that you are the God, the one that died on Calvary Cross Mountain, the one that blood was shed for my sin. The same God was buried in the tomb and raised from the dead and extend my life. Jesus, because you extend my life, you give me the privilege and the opportunity to sit before your present and cry and say, God, have mercy on your world and your people. Deliver your people from drugs, from crime, from violence. God, our young boys and girls are dying on the street from knife and guns. Jesus, I pray tonight for our young people. I pray in the name of Jesus for our young people. I pray for the parents that God, they will hear to speak to our young people. They will hear and answer. Heavenly Father, hear my prayer, God. This town of Luton and the surrounding town of Luton, Jesus, every young boys and girl. I bring them before your presence right now in the name of Jesus. And I ask you by your authority, Lord, touch, heal, deliver, and set free from the plan of the enemy. God, we know the enemy is out there to tear our young people down, to destroy our young people. But in the name of Jesus, devil, you will not destroy our young people. I plead the blood of Jesus over our young people. God, I build a brick wall of the anointing of the Holy Spirit around our young people. God, cover them under the blood of Jesus. Cover them under the blood of Jesus. Bring peace in the home. Father God, tonight I pray for the fathers. Jesus, I pray for the fathers that they will step up as father to protect, to love. In the name of Jesus, Lord, cover the mothers. Cover the mothers under the blood of Jesus. Help them to be fathers and mothers when they are on their own, Lord. Because God, only you can. Tonight, I ask you, in the name of Jesus, take over fully control. Take over fully control. God, there is nothing I can do. But one thing I know, I can come before your presence. And I can bring our young people before you. And I say, God, have mercy. Have mercy. Lord, whatever I fail to mention tonight, I pray, God, that you will hear and answer my prayer. Because, God, I am going by the Holy Spirit that live and dwell and work and operate in me. So, Lord, whatever you put in me to speak, I will speak in the name of Jesus. And whatever I don't speak, God, you know the reason why. Hear and answer my prayer, God, as I humble myself. Lord, to you, I give glory. To you, I give praise. To you, I I give Hannah, and to you I give thanks, Lord. So tonight, God, as I am coming down in my prayer, I am praying tonight for my wife, for my children, for my grandchildren, for my sister, for my brother, for my niece, and for my nephew, and my in-laws. I pray in the name of Jesus that the power of God, the anointing of God, and the Holy Spirit of God will touch each and every individual in the name of Jesus. 
from the crown of their head and to the sole of their feet. Wash them in the blood of Jesus. Cleanse them from the plan of the enemy. I pray. God, tonight, I pray for my church. I pray for my pastor. I pray for his wife and the family. In the name of Jesus, that the power of God, the anointing of God, and the Holy Spirit of God will touch from the crown of his head and to the sole of his feet. God, you place him as our head to lead us, to guide us, and to feed us with the word of God. Lord, give him wisdom, give him knowledge, and give him understanding. That God, whatever you give unto him, Lord, he will not water. He will not Christian, but he will deliver as you give it unto him. Father Jesus, cover the family. Lord, you know them by name and you know them by nature. In the name of Jesus, take over fully control. God, remember the elders, the deacon, and the trustees. I bring them before your presence right now in the name of Jesus. I ask you by the authority that given to me to touch, to heal, to deliver, and set free. God, open the doors that when they meet in any meeting to do with the ministry, God, there will be no confusion, but the presence of God will present that everything will go as card to the plan of Jesus. Father God, I bring the members, the visitors, the children, the praise and worship team, the musician, the nursery, and the staff. I bring each and every individual right now before you, God. And I ask you in the name of Jesus to touch, to heal, to deliver, and set free. Lord, remember, every ministry that joined to lose the Pentecostal church. God, I pray for the youth ministry. I pray for the women's ministry. I pray for the children's ministry. I pray for the men's ministry. I pray for the prayer team. The, the Bible study. That God, you will move in a circle. Take over fully control, Lord. Bring each and everyone in unity and in strength. God, to you, all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise belongs to you, Lord. And tonight, Lord, as we are about to go to sleep, I pray in the name of Jesus that the power of God will lie with us. The anointing of God will watch over us, guide and protect us during the course of the night, Lord, as we sleep. And Jesus, if it is your will to open our eyes to see another day, Lord, I pray that the power of God who guides us through the night will wake us up safely. God, take over fully control. This moment, I take this moment to say, Lord, thank you for what you have done and thank you for what you are about to do. I pray in the name of Jesus. God, have your sweet divine way. Have your way in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And as I say, God, if it is your will again to open our eyes to see another day, in hard ones, let me take the time to say, Lord, thank you. Thank you. To God be the glory. Great and wonderful things you have done in my life. And greater to come in the name of Jesus. God, let 2024 be a year of rejoicing. A year of blessing. A year of 19. God, have your way. In Jesus' wonderful name. To God be the glory. Thank you, my brothers. Thank you, my sister. If you follow this video so far and it's the first time come across this channel, I ask you, share this video with your friends and family. Tell someone to tell someone to go over to Bunny2UK. Subscribe to the channel. Share the video and God bless you. And if there's any time that you want me to pray with you or to pray for you, just put your comments in, the, in there. Put a prayer request and I will pray for you in Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless you. This is Lucy Pentecostal Church. And this is where I go to church. So my viewers and my subscribers, if you're looking for a church 
to go to in Luton. So this is Lucy Farm, Damanic Square. And this is Lucy Pentecostal Church. And we have service from 10 o'clock in the morning until 12 midday, where we finish and have tea and coffee and socialize. So if you're looking for a church to go to, Lucy Pentecostal Church is a very friendly church for you to come. Come join with us if you don't have a church to go to. We are friendly people and we're looking forward to welcome you in Lucy Pentecostal Church, Lucy Farm, Damanic Square. So check us out.